Summer is in full swing here in Korea, which means there's a host of exciting events to choose from. From book festivals to nocturnal palace tours, EG1 takes us to some of the hottest venues to visit. June marks the beginning of summer, and it's the perfect weather for picnics and outdoor activities before it gets too hot. And for those who want to spend some time outside, the city of Seoul has prepared a series of festivals and events for this month. On a sunny Saturday, the sidewalk in front of the Dongdaemun Design Plaza in central Seoul is filled with booths selling old books. From children's literature to novels, the Cheonggyecheon Old Book Festival offers visitors a wide range of secondhand treasures as part of an effort to revive interest in the city's bookshops and used book culture. Cheonggyecheon used to be famous for its second-hand book street, but in recent years, the number of shops has dropped from 200 to 20. Old books have a value of their own. Some of them are interesting as a reflection of the publishing industry of their time, while others are no longer published at all and are rare. Through this event, we hope to increase people's interest in old books. They can be as cheap as three U.S. dollars, but these books offer more than just a bargain. Buying used books is not only economical, but it also makes me feel like I'm sharing my thoughts and feelings about the book with the person who had it before me. New activities are on offer now in the festival's third year. For example, you can get the books you've bought decorated in pop art style by local artists. And here at the Nanpan Kolhanok village, a special market is being held. The participants have stepped back in time to 1890, dressed in the attire of those days. It gives visitors the opportunity to see and feel what an olden day Korean market would have been like. The old style booths and Korean delicacies like dock or rice cake and products made of the traditional paper hanji help recreate a marketplace from the Joseon dynasty of the 14th through early 20th centuries. I heard the market is set in Korea's Enlightenment era, and it's an unusual opportunity to experience all these things right in the middle of Seoul. I thought it'd be a good experience for our children, so we dropped by. And at the other end of the venue, visitors can enjoy a number of traditional Korean amusements, including tegitagi, a game similar to hacky sack. In tegitagi, you have to keep the foot back off the ground by kicking it, and foreign tourists were able to easily identify these games with some from their own countries. I like the games because in Russia we have many traditional games, and some of them actually intersect a little bit, so it's interesting. I like it. Like what? Uh, well, uh, the one where you need to throw your shoe. The Namsan Gol Night Market will be held every week until October. Another festival where you can enjoy the night sky is the moonlight tour at Changdeokgung Palace. Changdeokgung is one of the five grand palaces built during the Joseon Dynasty. Once it gets dark, visitors go in holding lanterns, and with a guide to help with the history, they see a new side of the palace. Seeing the palace at night was a new and pleasant experience. I really enjoyed this, and thanks to the guide, I got a better understanding of what life was like here. And at the end of the 90-minute tour, there are snacks and traditional performances, including a type of lyrical storytelling known as pansori, where the vocalist narrates the story to a drum beat. I've been to a lot of palaces during the day and night, but I can say that this was probably the best experience of them all. The beauty of the halls and pavilions was even better alongside nature. The tour was truly wonderful. The Changdeokgung night tour is held every Thursday through Sunday until November, with tickets available online only. Sundays are reserved for foreign tourists, with guides available who speak English, Chinese and Japanese. I think uh, being in Korea, there's a new festival every week. I mean, wherever you go in all around Seoul, all around the whole of Korea, there's, there's always a festival going on. So that's the fun part of Korea, is that. And, and so many of these things are free to do, so you just got to look out for them. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.